Hello again. We are at section three. It's time to start a new ASP.NET Web API in real life. As I already said, we need Visual Studio 2022 preview or any kind of IDE you prefer to use. At first, I will create a blank solution. Let's have a look at first. This is the version that I am currently use and we are at preview six. First of all, let's create a blank solution. No need to explain anything more as a PowerPoint presentation. Let's go to Visual Studio and see what we gonna need to do. This is Visual Studio, file, new, project. Blank solution. If this item was not here, just look for blank solution here by searching. But since I already used this item, I have it here. Next, the name of the solution, your solution name, the location, create, it's ready. So now I need to create an underlying project. Add new project. Now I should use ASP.NET Core Web API. Again, the project name. My naming convention would be like this. The whole solution dot API. Next, framework dot net eight preview. The HTTPS configuration should be there. I'm okay. No authentication. Since for this round, I need to use minimal APIs. See, uncheck to use minimal API. So, okay. It's okay. It's fine. No need to use open API for time being. Just create. Done. It's ready to use. See? No need to pay attention to whatever is already created. Imagine that you do not know anything. So, just remove this. Remove this. And this part. So now, I have the minimum line of code to be able to start a set of verbs. See, create builder, app is ready. By running the app, we gonna have something like a console application. But here, I can add my verbs. What is verb? Let me come back to my PowerPoint presentation again. In the last chapter, last section, I was talking about routing and then some methods, verbs. If you look at this, see, post, get, put, and delete. So now I want to have something real, a real get method, a real post method, real put method, 
and a real delete method. It's very easy. Let's see. Instead of typing, I'm going to paste all of them here. See, routing by app dot map get and assigning a name. I can have a simple get method. See, it returns list of all cars. The second one. It gives me a single car. Post. It's supposed to do kind of insert for me. Put for update. The input parameter is an ID. To update just one item, one car. And delete to delete. To delete just a single car based on an ID. That's all. It's ready. Let's run and see. Let's have a look. The URL and then cars. It would call or get method. So it returns list of all cars and image imaginary list of cars. But the question is, if we need to use post method, what should we do? I just copy this URL and go to Postman. Let's see. I have created a collection and called it .NET 8 Web API. Then I entered this URL as a get method here and again by changing the type to post method so if I call this one see list of all cars then post method car is created so if I want to have another one I can have another one let's copy this Come here and add request. Call it uh, edit a car, for example. Then car need to have an ID. Put. That's all. Something is wrong and I know what is the issue let's fix it see the input parameter should be like this yeah so now everything is fine let's see if i run see car with id1 is updated so now I could simply create a very, very simple set of verb as a web API. Let's have a look at the code again. See? Get method. Another get method with ID. Post. Put. And delete. So simple. So are we done? No. It's just the start of a very long story. In the next section, we're going to explain some other type of web APIs because it's kind of minimal API. And then we're going to start, as I said, a very long story about underlying layers and whatever we have to do to have a real web api connected to database and any other things that we have to handle thank you so much and be with us for the next section